All right. Welcome to Thursday, May 7th. Today you're going to need one or two equally heavy objects. We can get by with one, but if you have two, great. And a timer. There are timer apps that are recommended in our description below. Check those out. Makes your life easier. Uh, but for now, let's get to a warm-up. Today's warm-up has some new moves in it. We have three rounds of three reps each of these movements. Starts with a single leg upward dog to standing. Um, it's a little tricky. Tricky in that it's a single leg movement. So with a single leg, starting with my right, left leg's off the ground, drop into your plank, bring the hips down, but don't touch the quad to the ground, and then stand back up, all on one leg, okay? So you're gonna do three each side. Single leg, upward dog, or seal stretch. Down to that plank, hips down, back up. I'll do one more on this side so you can see the free leg. All right, single leg upward dog to standing. Again, that's three of those each side. After that, you're gonna do three tempo push-ups. With those, normal push-up position, hopefully strict, you're gonna do a three second descent. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up, okay? If you're not quite there on the strict, you can do it from your knees. One, two, three, up, one, two, three, up. Tempo push-ups, three of those. Then you have a three plank waves. <coughs> Excuse me. With those, it's a good shoulder warm-up. So we're gonna plank, get nice and stacked, get those feet stacked onto the side plank, and do a nice big shoulder circle wave. All right, that's one rep right there. You're gonna do three each side, okay? So that means alternate, do the wide circle wave, shoulder wave, alternate, shoulder wave, etc. Three reps each side. After those three plank waves, you're gonna do six overhead good mornings. You know those. Go ahead and get your hip width stance, hands up, overhead. Push the butt back, butt and hips back. Keeping that midline stable, good hinge in the hips. And then back up. Push the butt back till you can't. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings and glutes. Come right back up. Three of those, overhead good mornings. Press pause, you're gonna do three rounds of three reps of each of these movements. And you'll be nice and warmed up and meet me back here for strength. Welcome back from that warm-up. Hopefully you're good and warmed up. Uh, we've got four quality movements here for you. Today's strength, including some new ones. We're going to do two different supersets again today. The first superset's got Gorilla Rows in it. I'll show you those. Four sets of eight to ten reps on each side on the Gorilla Row. And then the second movement is Contralateral Glute Bridge Floor Presses. You're doing four sets of 12 of those floor presses on each side. I'll show you those. You're resting 30 seconds between both of these. After the contralateral glute bridge floor presses, you go back to the gorilla rows until you've done four sets of each. Uh, and then on that last set of contralateral glute bridge floor presses, you're going to roll into the second superset after that 30 second rest into plank pull throughs, which we've done before, but don't. Don't fret, I'll show you those. This time we're doing plank pull-throughs for 60 seconds, uh, 60 full seconds, and then resting 30 seconds before going into uh, dumbbell or kettlebell overhead triceps, ex triceps extensions. You're doing four 
sets of 8 to 12 each side on those tricep extensions. Then you rest for 30, go back to the plank pull-throughs and through those two movements until you've done four sets of each. Alrighty, let's show you those movements. So gorilla row, uh, just think gorilla. Grab your two equally heavy objects, put them between your legs, nice wide stance, wide enough to squat down on these and get comfortable holding this squatted position while you row. And you'll notice my hand turns out a little bit as I come up. Rotate that hand out and back down. Now if you only have one object, that's fine. Do all of one side first and then switch all the next side. Eight to 10 reps of these. My midline's nice and stable. I'm staying down in that squatted position. Gorilla rows. Awesome. After those gorilla rows, you're doing contralateral floor presses. Contralateral glute bridge floor presses. With those, you're gonna get down on the ground Grab your object that you're pressing, and you're going to, whichever side you're pressing with is the side that's gonna have the leg that's down, okay? So I'm pressing with my right side, so I've got my right foot planted. Now on our, I'm gonna go up into the glute bridge, but since it's contralateral, left leg comes up, boom and do your presses. This one is 12 each side. Contralateral, glute bridge, single arm presses. Pushing those hips to the sky, keeping that leg out, and pressing. So once you do those glute bridge presses, floor presses, you'll go back to gorilla rows on through until you've done four sets of both of those movements on that last set of contralateral glute bridge floor presses your 30 seconds is base 30 seconds rest is transitioning into that second super set which starts with the plank pull throughs for 60 seconds so plank pull throughs if you remember place that object kind of under your chest in that plank position you want to start it Kind of on the other side of the opposite arm hand and pull that weight through to that side switch hands pull it through keeping this plank position in your body nice solid core glutes are engaged keeping your body from rotating too much especially the hips when we're doing these pulls try to keep them nice and stable 60 full seconds of pull-throughs. It's a good challenge. After those, you'll rest for 30 seconds, and then you'll do either a dumbbell or kettlebell, whatever weight you've got, overhead triceps extension. For those triceps extensions, grab your weight. It is one, one weight. Grip it with both hands, elbows are in, and pressing up and back down, up and back down, boom. Triceps extension, keeping, the, keeping yourself in balance, nice and locked, nice and vertical, nice and stacked with your body, pressing up. All right. That is your dumbbell or kettlebell triceps extension. You're doing eight to 12 of those. Rest for 30 seconds, back to plank pull throughs for 60 solid seconds and so on and so forth until you've done four sets of both of those movements. Press pause, get set up, have fun with it and I'll see you back here for conditioning.
Today's conditioning workout is four time 100 hand release push ups. I'll show you those in a second. Fairly straightforward. The only trick is if you break those repetitions up at any point, say you get 18 push ups your first try and you have to take a break, you have to do 10 hollow racks each time you break the repetitions until you get to that 100th hand release push up. Okay, so I'll show you both of those movements. Hand release push-up is just like your normal push-up, except you release the hands at the bottom. So we'll get in that plank position, arms locked out, we'll bring the chest to the ground, and then we'll lift the hands up, and then back up. You can get fancy if you want. As long as you're releasing the hands at the bottom. All right, if you need to do those from the knees, that's fine. Hand release push-ups. Now again, if you break the repetition scheme at any point, you then have to do 10 hollow rocks. So with the hollow rock, remember, get into that bowl position, do the leg raise, arms up, rock. Only thing touching the ground is your tailbone and the lower part of your back. Your shoulders should be off the ground into that bowl. Rocking lower back to the butt. Now, if you're not quite to the rock point in your hollows, you can do hollow holds as your penalty for breaking the rep scheme. Um, just hold it for at least 20 seconds and make sure you're really engaging that core, squeezing every muscle you got in that hollow position. Okay, that is it for conditioning. Have fun with it. Press pause, go to it. I'll see you back here for a cool down. All right, welcome back for a very necessary cool down. Uh, you always have the option to do the shutdown challenge before you do this cool down. It's in the description below. Today's cool down involves the lizard pose. You're gonna do 30 seconds each side on that one. You can do that dynamic or static. And then the world's greatest stretch. With the world's greatest stretch, we're gonna rest 30 seconds in each pose. I'm gonna show you that now. Uh, so start with the world's greatest stretch, get in that plank position. Then bring your right foot on the outside of that right hand. You're gonna leave that left hand planted. You're gonna try, lift that right hand up and try to bring that right elbow to the ground. That is a very strong word, try. Don't, uh, not everybody should be able to, so don't worry about it if you can't, but the point is you're stretching this area right here. Your hamstring, your groin area, is opening up. So we're gonna hold this position for about 30 seconds. So from this position, you're gonna go into a pigeon pose. So you can leave that left arm planked and just bring that leg under, right leg under. Lower yourself onto your elbows if you can. If you can bring your head down, great. But you're gonna hang into this uh, pigeon pose for 30 seconds. You can kind of rock back and forth, take deep breaths, try to stretch lower each time, but hold that position for about 30 seconds. After the pigeon, come on up into a straight leg, hamstring stretch, bring that toe up. You can reach that toe, pull it toward you, and you're stretching this holding this position for about 30 seconds if you want to do a more dynamic release and stretch for that 30 seconds, you can. And then lastly, keeping that foot forward, you're gonna work into a hip flexor stretch, bring those hands overhead, push them toward the ceiling and lower, feeling that stretch in the hip flexor. I'll switch sides for you just so you can see. Again, hands toward the ceiling, 
lower the leg, arch the back. Feeling that stretch here. And hold for about 30 seconds for that pose. And then do the opposite side. Again, holding 30 seconds for each of those poses of the world's greatest stretch. Uh, the scorpion stretches. These guys are back and forth. Lay on their belly. Arms out to 90, but then just above 90 with those hands. You're going to take your right leg, right foot, right heel. Twist it over. Good thoracic stretch and a good shoulder stretch here. And then come back. And we're going to do three each side. Try to keep that heel from touching the ground. A little bit more of a stretch by not giving that leg a break by touching the ground with it. Okay? That's your cool down for the day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for joining Mitten Fitness, CrossFit Dexter, for these quarantine, stay home, get ripped workouts. All right, congratulations. You have graduated into a new shutdown challenge. Uh, the last one was challenging to say the least, especially at the very end with all those reps that have accumulated. Nobody expected to be closed this long, but thanks for challenging yourselves and sticking with it. We've got a new challenge for you uh, starting today, Saturday, April 18th. All right, so the new challenge has accumulating one full minute of elbow planking. Also, after that, accumulating one full minute of hollow holds. After that, you're gonna do 48 push-ups, more push-ups, but think how ready you'll be for Murph. Um, and then after the 48 push-ups, you're gonna do 10 light, emphasize light goblet squats, okay? So this is going to increase daily by five seconds on the holds for the plank and the hollow hold, by one push-up, and by two light goblet squats each day that we continue to be closed due to this virus that's out there. All right, so let's show you the movements. Elbow plank, you probably know, but I'm gonna show you. Down on those elbows. On the balls of those toes your core is engaged you're pressing down pressing into that ground with your elbows and your feet your toes really pressing down really squeezing the abs squeezing pretty much every possible muscle you can during this hold to get the most out of it all right that is your elbow plank hollow hold Make that bowl with your body. Leg raise, arms up and out. Make sure your shoulders are off the ground. Basically only touching the ground from the center of your back to your tailbone and holding. Engage that core. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Push-ups, push-ups you know, push-ups you love. And start in that full plank position down chest to the ground elbows are in either 45 degrees or tighter and up push up now if you don't have the full strict push up no problem go to your knees down up down up and if you need to scale that even further find that coffee table bench chair side of your rig and do your push-ups into that object. All right, then last but not least, tablet squats. This is not necessarily light, but it is a kettlebell in the goblet position. Elbows are in, nice and racked. Your goblet is hugging your chest. Um, squat stance for these. And you're going to start with that butt back. So push the butt and hips back. 
down, parallel or below, and back up. Have a blast with this shutdown challenge. It doesn't matter when during the day you do this, it is meant to be as well as your normal workout for the day. Uh, you can do it throughout the day, piece it up, do it throughout the day, you can do it before you go to bed, you can do it as soon as you wake up. It's your workout, it's your challenge. Just have fun with it. Thanks guys. Hey folks, really appreciate you tuning in. Please do us a favor, press that like button, subscribe, find us on Facebook, find us on Instagram, like us, like us, follow us, follow us. Stay healthy.